Are you thinking about getting your cleaning business started, but you are lacking the confidence necessary? Yeah? Well, you are in the right place. But first, play that intro. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mike Mack from the janitorialentrepreneur.com and I help people start, grow, and automate wildly profitable office cleaning businesses. And on this video, I'm gonna show you how to get bulletproof confidence. The confidence you're going to need to go out there, start your business, and actually become successful. I'm gonna show you how to do that today with three simple tips. So you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss this video. But before we begin, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, because I put out new videos just like this two times every single week and you're not gonna want to miss it. Also, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around because this week's bonus is awesome. All right, but now that all of that's out of the way, let's get into this week's video. Okay, so just starting out with my business, I had the same fears as everybody. I don't care what anybody tells you, we all go through these fears, especially in the beginning um, because it is the unknown ultimately. When you're leaving your job, or even if, you, even if you're not leaving your job, you are making some type of investment or you're taking some type of risk. That's always going to be uncomfortable. Um, but I had the same fears as everybody else You know, when starting my business. It was fears like, what if I never get a client? What if I look stupid in front of a prospect? What if I get clients, but I'm not able to put people at the, the accounts to work them? What if the cleaners don't respect me? What if this, what if that, what if that? That kept me paralyzed. And I went to do what most people did. I went and started looking for more information. I would go type up, type up little things to look for on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, wherever I could get some type of data. And I got data but I got like overloaded with data. So I had what's called paralysis of analysis. It's basically when you're stuck, you know so much. You go from, I don't know anything I'm stuck to now I know too much and I'm stuck because I'm like, what, which way do I go? Which way do I go? So I'm definitely making this video for anybody who is in that kind of mental quicksand of wanting to take the leap to start their business, but they're lacking the confidence. I'm giving you three ways that you can start getting confidence immediately and start taking action. Okay, tip number one for developing that bulletproof confidence needed is definitely stay lean and mean. Now, if you're not new to this channel, you've heard me talk about staying lean and mean before, but I wanna give you some examples of what that means so you know how to absolutely implement this for yourself to get started. Now, first things first, why do we wanna stay lean and mean? I don't know if you've heard that expression where an entrepreneur has always got at least seven hats on. Basically what that means is when you're starting your business, you know, you're in charge of marketing, you're in charge of sales, you're in charge of your branding, you're in charge of your social media, you're in charge of your email, you're in charge of client attraction, you're in charge of client happiness, you're in charge of quality control, you're in charge of cleaning, or you're also in charge of staffing the cleaning, you're in charge of overseeing the cleaning. I mean, that's like 13 hats right there. When you're starting out, you have all of these hats on. So what do most people do? Oh, what's my business plan? Or, oh, I gotta go get my business account set up. Or, oh, I need to go get insurance first. Or, oh, where am I gonna get my logo? Oh, I have to build this big, beautiful website. Oh, what are my brand colors? Oh, what? Is you start working on all of these things, except the one thing that truly matters more than anything, client attraction. That's it. Because without clients, you don't have a business. Now that was a reality I had to face because I was one of those people that would get a lot of busy work done because I was a little bit shy to go out there and do what actually mattered. Um, and that was actually bringing clients. So a lot of people get into this trap of getting all this busy work done and they're focusing on all these other things except the one thing that matters the most and that's getting clients. After all, without clients, you don't have a business. So staying lean and mean gets you to focus on that. You know, students in my program, 
they're taught to focus right on that right out of the gate. It's time to get you clients. You need to get you clients and then you'll start bringing in revenue. While everybody is doing, working on 9,000 things, if you're lean and mean, you're only focusing on bringing in revenue to your company. Now you say, oh, but you can't bring in revenue if you don't have insurance or a business bank account. Yeah, yes you can. I don't know who told you that, okay? I did it, our students are doing it, so I don't, ah! You don't have to do that, okay? You have to get your clients first. If you get your clients first, now you can afford to do all of these things. Does that make sense? See, doing it the traditional way leaves a lot of people broke for a really long time. Because if you're working on your website, you're working on your branding, you're working on your emails, you're working on everything but bringing on clients, how much revenue are you bringing in? You're bringing in a donut, okay? So if you stay lean and mean, you will get results quickly. And as those results come in, as that money comes in, as those clients come in, guess what else starts coming in? That's right, bulletproof confidence that you know how to do it and that you can continue to do it. Tip number two for developing bulletproof confidence, you're going to need to go out there and kick ass in business. That is build your tribe. Now, you might have heard people say before, um, entrepreneurship, that road to success is one of the loneliest roads you'll ever travel in life. And I say, yeah, you know, that was me for a while until I built a tribe. Now, it can be very lonely when you are the only person you know starting a business because um, a lot of times you're around a lot of friends and family who love you and care about you and they have their beliefs about business and most of them are negative. So when you say, hey, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, you know, invest money into this and I'm gonna go get this off thing off the ground. I'm gonna get this business off the ground. A lot of times you're gonna be met with a lot of negativity and that negativity, do you think that is gonna help your confidence or hurt your confidence? It's gonna hurt your confidence, why wouldn't it? But the thing is, is you're learning from people who haven't been successful with their business. So is that valuable to you or not valuable to you? That's like listening to like a broke money coach, right? Are you gonna listen to somebody who's successful or, or are you gonna listen to somebody who's broke? Tell you how to manage your money or tell you how to manage your business. It's the same premise, okay? Now, if you start building a tribe, seeing is absolutely believing. If you start networking with friends who are also starting businesses and they're getting great results, you're gonna see that and you're gonna be inspired. You're gonna be confident because you're gonna be like, I know Dan, Dan's not superhuman, or I know Bob, Bob's not superhuman, or Katie. Katie's just like me. We're like the same, like we're friends and she's out there blowing up, I could blow up too. Get around more entrepreneurial friends. Now, obviously in the times we're in now, Maybe, you, maybe it's not like as easy as just going right to a bar, but that's fine. We have this beautiful thing called the internet. Go on there and find groups of young entrepreneurs starting their businesses and, you know, it doesn't have to be young, but just wherever you are, you wanna, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. Go into these groups, network with people. Say, hey, what kind of business are you starting? Oh, I'm starting a carpenter business. Oh, that's awesome, I'm starting a cleaning business, you know, like, have you gotten it off the ground yet? Yeah, I'm just starting to get clients. Oh, that's really exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to make the jump. Oh, you should definitely do it. You see what I'm saying? Now you're getting different information and you're getting more confidence because you're seeing people do the thing that you thought was scary before, okay? So this is very important. Go out there, start building a tribe, start networking with other people starting their businesses. That is gonna give you drive, the juice to keep going and it's gonna give you motivation and it will give you bulletproof confidence. Tip number three for developing bulletproof confidence, you're gonna to need to go out there and kick ass. That is focus on the tiny things. So basically focus on the tiny things are, it's the opposite of what most people do. So let's say you start a business and you're just like, oh, I'm waiting on my big client or I'm waiting on my first $10,000 a month, my first $20,000 a month, etc. You know, then we wait that long to feel fulfilled and happy and confident. But here's the deal. There are tiny things in there are tiny things in your journey that if you focus on those, it will bring you lots of confidence, lots of joy and lots of like motivation. So instead of focusing on your first big client, 
yeah, you're gonna definitely go out and get your first big client. But before you focus on that, focus on the little things along the way that are gonna make that client possible. Like, oh, I got my first lead today, or I got my first call back. It was so great, or it wasn't great. The person was actually really angry, but even that's good news, because then you're like, okay, how can I tweak my marketing to where people don't hate me as much? <laughs> um, you could focus on booking walkthroughs. Wow, I booked two walkthroughs this week. This is great, I met with two clients. I got to put out three proposals in the last two weeks. This is pretty cool. Now, some of you may be saying like, but that's not really that exciting. But it is though, because it's showing you the signs that you were on your way, okay? Before we started landing clients, we were landing walkthroughs, right? And before we were landing walkthroughs, we were getting callbacks. These things were positive signs showing us that we were moving in the right direction. Now, if I can go back in time and put my arm around little old me at the time, I'd be like right away, I'd be like, no, 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 you got a callback. I, keep focused. I know you want a client. I know you want money. It's coming. But what you need to understand is that you're getting positive signs right now. This means this works. Let's lean in more to what's working and then we'll get more leads and then we'll get more walkthroughs, put out more proposals and then land more clients and then more money and more money and more money and more. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so focus on the tiny things. The tiny things will be your gasoline to get your car moving. All right, the conclusion for this week's video, look, we all wanna get that bulletproof confidence, right? What happens is we watch movies or we watch TV shows of people who just look like Superman or Superwoman and they're just, they're not phased by nothing, they're never stressed, they're just crushing in all areas of life and you want that too. Or maybe you're on Instagram and you see somebody stunting for the gram and you're like, damn, He's always confident, man. He's, he's got all the answers, man. If I had that confidence, I'd go out there and make that happen. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you the biggest secret that I think most people won't tell you. And I don't know why they won't tell you. Maybe they don't know. Um, but here's what I learned after my years in business and the long list of failures and then the actual successes. I waited a long time thinking about, I need that confidence, you know, because I, I was the opposite of confidence for the longest. I need that confidence. I need, I need to be confident in myself to go out there and make it happen. But here's the deal. Success breeds confidence. So you're looking for confidence to go be successful. Instead, you should be looking for little successes to get you confident and then bigger successes to get you more confident. See that person that you admire, whoever that is, that's like maybe out there doing it and you're like, damn, I wanna be doing it like her. I wanna be doing it like him. They've gotten successful. And then because of that success, they develop confidence, okay? So seeing yourself actually do it. So when you go out there and you start taking action, you start getting positive results, you're going to feel great. You're gonna feel incredible. You're gonna feel confident. You're gonna feel like, yeah, I knew I can do it. I knew I can do it, right? And then the more of that you see, the more confident you will grow. So waiting for confidence is one of the worst things you can do. Those little successes are gonna give you all the confidence you need. And these three tips in these videos, I am confident that if you start applying these things immediately, you're gonna come back and thank me for this video, all right? But you can thank me right now by hitting the like button. Now, but you guys are the best. Go out there and make it happen. Okay, it's bonus time. This week's bonus is definitely to date the best bonus ever, okay? It is a training, it's a brand new training that um, we just put together. It's honestly the best training we've ever done to date. It is going over my four absolute secrets that I've learned that took me from sitting at my day job, rotting away, miserable, $35,000 plus into debt to where I am today. I get paid to sit here and talk to you while my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machine, my, my, my cash cow cleaning business is out there automated, okay? I'm able to do that where I came from to where I am today. It is absolutely mind blowing and that training goes through all of it. All of it, okay? It is absolutely free. A lot of people out there charge for that. No, 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 it's free. All you gotta do is click the first link in the description and it is all yours. I hope you enjoy it. I want your feedback. I put my heart in that, to that thing, you know, all right? So, all right, you tell me what you think. You enjoy it, but that's it. 
that's it for this video. I had a great time. I'll see you on the next one. Comment below if you like the video. Oh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, all right? But I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.